this tutorial we will cover DM Light, a free version of Demolition Master, with fast control over our destructions, but still very usable for production. We will make a Rayfire vs Demolition Master, to be correct a Fusk Solver vs TP Dynamics Solver. First of all I have to say that the finality of this video is not to say DM is better than Rayfire. I think Rayfire is a very good plugin and I use it a lot, but for simulations Demolition Master is more stable and with more control over demolitions. Here I have a very low poly wall with a windows. Check that you don't have any material ID equal to 5. This ID is reserved for fragmented faces. Open Rayfire, we will profragmentate this wall and see a typical problem with Rayfire. Add wall object to dynamic windows. Go to fragmentation tab. We will use the ProBoolean uniform. This give you more detail on fragmented objects than Voronoi fragmentation type. Add some high noise, so our frags will be less uniform. Also be sure to check material ID equal to 5. We use this later on DM to emit debris from fragmented faces with ID 5. Create fragments. As I expect fusks will have some problems with overall pieces because most of them are concave objects. Fisks only use convex hulls for geometry, and with interpenetrating geometry fisks will explode all the pieces in contact. Most evident problem is the contact from wall borders and windows. Add ground to static objects, and windows on dynamic objects. We are ready for simulation. Click on start, as predicted all explodes is not the desired result since there is no bombs or anything on scene. We have an option to control collision tolerance, we can increase it. But we will have a less credible behavior and all the wall explodes also. So, how we can control this? You can make a new fragmentation, with less noise. Use Voronoi fragmentation with less detail, try to find all concave objects and make more fragmentations, or, just download DM Lite for free from andvfx.com and use it. I create a new selection set, named Frags. To use DM Lite is very easy. We only need to merge DM Lite scene here. Select all and OK. Thinking Particles Tool Development and all debris are merged in scene. A floor is merged also, the floor is added on deflector so all objects will interact with it. Moving the timeline you can see a ball, this is a bullet object and we will use it for explosions creation. Selecting the floor you axis to Demolition Master Light on Modifier tab. You can play with deflectors, concrete, glass, steel, and bullets. Select pick, open high list, we have a selection set named frags, select it. Frags are now in steel objects, select changes affect all, check instance shape and hide the originals. Now our frags are inside thinking particles and they are particles in fact. If we move the timeline our objects are not affected by anything, by default all objects are freezed, but thinking particles work with concave geometry so all will work ok. We will use the bullet to create an explosion, select shooting object, this object emits a bullet, if you move shooting object near the wall you will see in real time collisions. Click play. When working with particles is important to uncheck real time playback. As you can see there is no problem with concave geometry, simulation is stable. Another cool feature over FUSCS is that the simulation is calculated every time, so if you move your timeline, and move your shooting object you can interact in real time. Also we have better control over our simulation. As you can see now all geometry is affected by bullet. You have two levels, level 0 has white wireframe, level 1 has blue wireframe. 
you can control when a frag passed to second level in steel properties. Increase velocity so only fastest frags will go to level 1. On level 0 we can increase the friction. So the bullet will only affect one part of the wall. We can control level 0 to level 1 with a radius from bullet, change rad to level 1 to change it. Also a really cool feature is that you can create debris to add detail on your destruction. Open debris rollout and check steel. Debris are created on faces with material ID 5 applet. This is the reason we use material ID 5 on ray fire fragmentation. We can change the shape of debris in some parameters. Go to steel debris. Change geometry to concrete, glass, or wood. Change the size and size variation for some randomness. Increase shot value to see more debris. As you can see with Demolition Master you have more control over your simulation, using concave geometry as a plus, and the combo ray fire for fragmentation and Demolition Master for simulating is very good. Download Demolition Master on nvfx.com.